Да? Надо сегодня дело придумать. Да. Это не будет тех, кто We continue our press conference, which is entitled The Non-Hearing Season in Crimea. We invited Evgeny Andriyuk, expert on international humanitarian law of uh, Crimson Center, and also Roman Astapchuk, free Crimea expert, will be saying, uh, talking about how ready or not ready Crimea is uh, to the beginning of the a hearing season, uh, and what are the problems uh, of uh, the citizens of Crimea there? The length uh, of the hearing season uh, in Russia differs from uh, Ukrainian. Uh, it starts from the 15th of October and lasts till the 15th of April, and according to the Deputy Minister of Household uh, sector in Crimea. He said the heating season in Crimea will start on the 15th October if the average temperature of the air will not be above 8 degrees as to the Crimea. In Crimea, there are about 18,000 uh, objects which are uh, to be heated. Uh, these are mostly residential houses, uh, medical educational establishments, uh, businesses and other social structural objects. Uh, you see that out of the 18,000 objects, uh, 15,651 uh, residential houses, besides the infrastructure which supports that is 838 boilers, 185 heating plants, uh, 351 pumping plants, uh, 43 um, uh, cleaning, uh, water cleaning, and the cleaning facilities, 830 wells. Uh, we, of course, can uh, also blame Ukraine, because that's uh, what uh, uh, all that was in a similar condition uh, in the past. Uh, but Nevertheless, the occupational authorities who are responsible for uh, the territory which is temporarily occupied, Russia is responsible for the situation in household sector. As of the 20th of October, we see out of 539 educational establishments, only 454 were ready for the autumn-winter period. And according to Jakub Zitulayev, Deputy Minister of Household Sector in Crimea, he said, we would like to draw attention to Bakhtisaray district. They don't have any uh, storage of fuel, uh, also there's lack of fuel in uh, several other districts of Crimea that are located in the northern part of the peninsula, the rural areas where the specific uh, weight of rural population is very big. As of 27th of uh, October, we see that in Simferopol, three kindergartens, uh, eight schools, state, uh, ten uh, health, uh, public health uh, uh, buildings, uh, and 70% of uh, residential houses were without heating. Uh, so here's the uh, statistical data 
on uh, how many houses uh, and uh, objects were connected to hearing system. Gennady Bakharev uh, had to apologize for the situation. He said, I apologize for the, uh, this uh, situation. And by the 1st of November, everyone will have hearing. Unfortunately, that hasn't been done. I know that in Simferopol, many residential houses in Simferopol are still without central heating. And uh, that saves the situation. What saves the situation in Simferopol now is that the uh, temperature is more or less warm. In the daytime, um, it's around 10. So this is the situation. Now, Sivastopol. We see that in Sivastopol. As of the 2nd of November, 38 um, residential houses are without uh, heating to social objects. The statistical information is like that. They have 89 residential, in Simferopol, 89 residential houses are without uh, uh, heating for uh, kindergartens, uh, 11 educational establishments, and uh, 11 public health uh, establishments. Igor Vasiliev, uh, head of the Department of uh, uh, Civil Defense in Sivastopol, he said uh, during the last week uh, uh, there were 730 complaints. Uh, uh, sent to the center. The key problem is in Crimea is that starting from this year, the occupational authority started introducing uh, the principle of uh, replacing uh, different forms of communal management of the property by so-called managing companies. All these companies are now private, so the citizens have to sign new agreements that leads to increase of bureaucracy because the citizens have to go to the companies which uh, supply gas. They have to go to the companies which supply electricity and also uh, they have to stand in lines uh, in uh, the um, household, uh, in the utility um, companies, which are now uh, transferred to managing companies. And that leads uh, to uh, the uh, increase of the epidemic uh, of um, the diseases like flu and others. As to heating on the territory of Ukraine, the government has started the program of uh, financing autonomous heating of houses and uh, they partially compensate uh, uh, putting the new windows and other things which help save the energy in Crimea. And the self-proclaimed Minister of Fuel and Energy of Crimea, Sergei Yegorov, says the total need in coal of the citizens of Crimea is 55,000-60,000 tons. Approximately 30,000 tons we have. So now that means that the population needs additional 25,000-30,000 tons. And the price uh, of that, uh, well, depends on the quality of uh, the coal. One ton of coal on the territory of Crimea is from 5.5 thousand rubles to 11 thousand rubles, from 1.8 to 3.7 thousand grivnas per one ton. And that is as of October 2015. 
I understand that this topic is quite complicated and that is why we invited Gennady Zubko here. We requested to send someone from the ministry, but unfortunately the state bodies in Ukraine, of Ukraine ignore the situation, they ignore the needs of the citizens of the occupied uh, Republic of Crimea and of Sevastopol. And many people are talking about that. Uh, uh, only people who are uh, trying to uh, work on these problems um, uh, volunteers and the state bodies they ignore what they have to do if you read uh, the interview of Lenur Islamov in Ukrainska Pravda he accuses uh, the Minister of Information States uh, in uh, uh, not uh, uh, doing anything. Evgenia is uh, in the uh, Krimsos organization, which is a key organization that helps uh, IDPs. And there was an important law passed uh, this week, uh, which uh, will be protecting the interests of our citizens who had to leave the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. So let's talk about the situation with heating season and also about this draft law. If we are speaking about heating season, uh, first uh, important issue that exists uh, with the heating and uh, 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 with the uh, wood materials and other issues, uh, the experience of people, they say that when Ukraine ruled, uh, uh, this didn't happen. And uh, 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 whether the occupation powers can provide the level of life, and we see the facts that uh, say uh, that it's difficult for people to live there, they can't uh, have the level of life that they had before. Uh, this level isn't provided by the uh, occupation powers. And uh, they should provide for the people, and they should um, uh, provide heating for people. And uh, about the draft law, uh, civil society helped to там замечание с точки зрения статуса за него проголосовал парламент. And uh, we uh, wait for a signing of this document, and the president has uh, 15 days for the signing of the document, and then it can be introduced into action. And uh, it wasn't. Uh, put into action yet, but we hope that it will happen and we work uh, on this uh, uh, law uh, and uh, its um, introduction. We developed this draft of law uh, with our uh, partners uh, from uh, international national organizations and uh, uh, this law introduced uh, a, a number of uh, changes to the law and lift the limitations starting from the uh, identification and definition what are IDPs because they uh, didn't include uh, stateless persons or, or foreigners that uh, were forced to leave Crimea because they were not identified as IDPs in Ukraine and uh, also registration and the documents they, they had so uh, the situation improved, but uh, when a president signed this document, there should be uh, documents and provisions they should adhere to this law, and it will take time. That's why we say that uh, uh, some three months are needed for this. And we have a number of problems connected with Crimean IDPs, 
uh, these problems are not solved, and we are speaking about these problems such as pensions, the bank deposits uh, uh, that uh, uh, regardless of the uh, statement of National Bank, uh, the bank boycotted these decisions and they block these accounts. So the situation with the bank is uh, uh, unsolved, and uh, I say that uh, we have uh, three examples when people, uh, they opened accounts uh, in the territory of Ukraine and uh, Kiev banks and banks refused to give the money back to the people, motivating this by that they got compensation from Russian authority in Crimea. And it's not impossible to do this if they open this uh, account in the Ukrainian uh, um, affiliate in Kiev. So I give the floor to uh, Evgenia. Uh, uh, Roman Astapchuk and uh, and uh, what uh, uh, what is the situation with the heating? Uh, does it improve or maybe some tendencies are to the worsening of the situation? The tendency, not only in the heating sphere but in the cultural and social sphere, worsens every day in Crimea. And we should say that comparing uh, Russian legislation and Ukrainian legislation, uh, both in Russia and Ukraine, heating season starts from the 15th of October, and uh, it can be started earlier if in Ukraine there's a temperature of uh, about uh, less than uh, 8 degrees Celsius and in Russia. Uh, for, uh, the period is uh, five days because the uh, the, the regime is uh, uh, there's a two day difference uh, in the starting of the heating seasons between our countries. Mm, so uh, we had the data for uh, on the fourth uh, of uh, November, seventy uh, houses in. Uh, Sevastopol, they were not uh, provided with heating and the uh, patient power um, started to um, connect these buildings to central heating. And uh, uh, if we say about the old Crimea, uh, many places are not provided with gas and many people use autonom uh, autonomous uh, heating, uh, uh, boilers, um, um, and comparing with our previous topic uh, about the uh, goods blockade uh, and the prices raised, and uh, uh, they uh, varied from uh, uh, 1,500 to 3,000, uh, the price of coal varies in this range because uh, coal uh, is delivered by uh, a uh, Kerch Strait uh, uh, is uh, provided to Crimea, and it influences the price, and it influences the, um, uh, uh, the situation for, uh, for the people, because uh, many people can't, uh, uh, can't buy the school for this price, and the situation gets only worse. And uh, uh, they continue not to hit uh, um, uh, kindergartens. The situation is bad there. Also in schools and uh, hospitals. And the situation, it, uh, uh, they uh, don't put much effort into it. And uh, uh, school 13 in Simferopol, uh, last week, uh, there were holidays and for Ukrainian and Russian school children, and uh, mm, uh, parents addressed central uh, institution for education, in, uh, and they said about they should, should continue uh, holidays because there was no heating in uh, institutions. And uh, uh, temperature uh, in schools forced 
parents not to allow their children to go to school, and that's why these uh, holidays were continued, uh, because there was no heating in schools. It's understandable. And I wanted to discuss uh, other issue with uh, uh, Evgenia. And uh, uh, this, uh, the situation is really pressing. And uh, this week, Lilith uh, Jurava, I know her personally, starting from 1990s. And what is important, she was an expert for my book, uh, uh, Island Crimea, and uh, I invited her to presentation, and she said honestly that I would comment, but I uh, I can't leave Crimea because uh, I uh, wouldn't uh, I couldn't go I couldn't go back there, and uh, uh, that is important for me. And this uh, story, uh, she told me about her. A uh, grandchild, he was in uh, Crimea, and he studied there, and uh, she said that uh, he was beaten uh, by his uh, classmates, and he was seriously injured, and uh, now he is going to be operated and, uh, on. And uh, uh, what uh, about the actions of Ukraine as to the, uh, maybe we should uh, uh, get our uh, citizens out of there? Because of In uh, general, the situation shows that uh, when the official authorities say everything's fine here and everything's fine with Crimea Tatars, uh, tells uh, about the opposite. The activists say that's the reaction to blockade, but we see that uh, the actions on persecution uh, of Crimean Tatars and pro-Ukrainian activists are systematic. We just can hope that nothing worse happens. From the point of view of how to react, how to protect the rights, do people have to stay? Yes, there are some people who leave the territory of Crimea. There are also people who, because of certain circumstances, will stay there. That's the personal choice of every person. But unfortunately, the actions of Ukrainian authorities are very weak. We do not see any systemic activity of Ukrainian authorities on protecting their rights, but Ukraine has submitted several, filed several cases to European uh, Court uh, on Human Rights, uh, Ukraine versus Russia, that's related to Crimea. Now we are collecting evidence uh, uh, for international criminal court. But we don't see any systemic work. Besides the international institutions, there are certain diplomatic things which are to be done. We, uh, well, after the searches, our Ministry of Foreign Affairs should at least make a statement. And they should communicate that to other countries. Now, Ukraine has become the uh, non-permanent member of the Security Council of the UN, and that's a great forum where uh, people could talk about that systemically. And why uh, did the blockade start? Because there were no systemic actions. So protection of human rights is, in Crimea is really very important issue because no one no international organizations can enter Crimea, but also Russian lawyers have very limited access there. We are discussing the ideas of uh, civil um, 
reception office says thank you uh, if you have any questions please uh, raise your hands if not When you mentioned this topic about heating in Crimea, many representatives of Russian authorities were saying, why do we need heating from Ukraine? We have Russia, it will supply everything for us, gas as well. <clears throat> what can you say? How does Russian side comment that what's the reaction, what is their reaction to the situation with heating in Crimea? Uh, Talking about gas, I cannot tell you about gas, but there is information that there's the threat Crimean authorities want to, well, actually there is a threat, the centralized the supply of electricity will be disconnected to Crimea, and the same may happen with gasification. Uh, the general trend, uh, at the central level, everyone says that that's a systemic mistake, but when we see that uh, the uh, statement that everyone was ready, that these were lies. But now they say that it's up to specific uh, people you can see the trend uh, that that is transferred to specific people. They say these are these specific people who are guilty in that. That's not. Uh, this is not a systemic mistake. Action of statements remind of statements of Putin and Lukashenko. The trend is that I'm a local tsar and I can say anything. We're not guilty, this is not our problem. That's what they are saying. Someone else is uh, guilty, and they even dismissed someone. They say, you are guilty. Yes, they do have this uh, strict administrative vertical in Russia. They punish the civil servants uh, quickly. And uh, in that, the situation with responsibility is better because they have this hierarchic model. In Ukraine, we have sort of democracy, but for a long time, we cannot uh, make responsible people who do not execute their duties, like General Prosecutor Shokin. He um, now took a vacation, uh, uh, but in Russia they uh, resolve these problems very quickly, but Crimea uh, has, uh, um, they, they do feel this uh, personnel hunger, Aksyonov says that they don't have qualified people in Crimea. Where are they? Most of them started working for new Russian occupational bodies. But they say that they like them because bureaucratic apparatus is much bigger than Ukrainian. All those who could find jobs, they found jobs and now they lack people, they start bringing people from Ossetia, Tatarstan, Central Russia, and that leads to new conflicts. We know that the line of distribution 
of the line of uh, dividing to locals who um, uh, 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 and the um, uh, Russians who arrive from other regions is this uh, uh, division is very big. We know the Soviet tradition when everything was cleaned before some big holidays, but here uh, we know Russia was uh, celebrating the day of national unity, which Putin uh, uh, launched uh, to forget about the 7th of November, the day of October Socialist Republic, so that people get drunk on the 4th of November and the 7th of November they will not celebrate. But uh, with all that, we see that in both Simferopol and Sevastopol, two biggest cities, most of the facilities, most of the objects are without heating. So here we uh, will uh, finish today, but in a week we will continue in UCMC. We will be talking about new things, about new challenges, about the wave of political persecutions which is taking place in Crimea. And we will try to talk ab about the situation with the human rights in more detail. Thank you, Evgenia. Thank you, Roman. And see you again.